Welcome back everybody. Today we're with Dalmont, Yelby, Zerenica, Ghost Liger, General Von Doom, and Plus Nine. And we've reached the end of the line tonight. And I've got a beautiful ship to show you. I'm just going to take a few slow shots of the outside. Because logic. It's all blinking away lovely. Look at that. I'm just going to take a little fly down. Make sure I can see these. Wow, man. You've done a really good job on this logic. Thanks. It's it's coming along. Still doing interior detail passes and, and kind of furnishings. Uh, but there's a lot of fun toys. There's a lot of cool logic in this ship. Uh, if you want to dock to... If you notice, uh, there's two dock spaces in the back, in the rear hangar here. And the hangar in this in this ship is totally logic out so that if a, if a ship is undocked the landing lights are turned on once you dock the landing lights turn off and you'll notice the door uh, on to the side of you will actually close in an animated fashion and it should be faction permission so anybody should be able to I think there is a problem hang on so we're gonna continue where we left off we were sitting on a sector boundary because even though we have 10 kilometer sectors we still managed to get to the other end of the sector well there you go Ooh, getting a little bit of funky lag myself. <clears throat> yeah I've just noticed that your logic's frozen oh and it's back and it's frozen we'll have to do you a special I think we should do a special review to demo all of your logical features but we'll do a whip through because you brought it in you know yeah, what we'll I mean? do, we'll, yeah we'll do a little uh... We can't do this Passing, just yeah. we can't do it justice on a lineup review. There's too many features. They need to turn full on. And it's a shame when the doors don't work and there stuff. There you go, Yelby. Now you can see the doors closing there. It's going. Did it work for you? Yeah, it's doors closed. are closed. closed. I, I pulled the other shuttle out so the other one's available too. Okay, I'm in. There you go, Tom. So if you look to your right, you'll see the doors closing. very nice shutter doors that's really fresh I want to see that from the outside but I'll uh, yeah I'll see it from the outside hang on so if I jump in my ship look at that and that's just done with a very very simple flip-flop logic um, you can find schematics for that anywhere on the internet one That's of the beautiful, beautiful things about Starmate's logic system is that uh, even the blocks themselves are basically set up, you know, exactly like the labels that you'll find on any uh, electrical engineering schematic you'll find on the web. So rebuilding, how to build anything, a Larson scanner or, uh, you know, a unit like this, you can just find schematics for them anywhere on the internet and build them in Starmate. And you don't have to build all the gates yourself? Wow. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? If it was only that easy. It's you like literally get a blueprint as opposed to something that, you know, like in Minecraft you would actually have to translate it to redstone. Yeah, whereas this you just literally put this it down and make it up. Put it in, all logic is instant. It's amazing. It's so much fun. Just taking a look at your forward observation. Uh, yeah, and then uh, your do you want to do that from inside or from outside? I'm in build mode, so you can carry on and uh, demo it however you wish. I am heading toward... Oh wow, your core room looks way more complete. Yeah, the core room's coming along. I still have a bunch of systems that I want to add in um, to the ship, but we're getting there. I'm behind you. Now we're heading into this is sort of our <laughs> ten floor. Cambots area. already in here. <laughs> What's up, um, and so this area is going to have furniture and some other stuff in it eventually. Uh, but meanwhile, these sort of blue underlit rings are set up with kind of roller rink lighting, which I have wired up from my handy dandy ten forward bar over here. So there's the roller rink lighting. Open I love it. Open up the pool table, which I have to credit Dalmont with the design for. 
because uh, that pool table is just utter genius. <laughs> uh, building genius. And I just could not help myself but steal that. Uh, and then finally, here is our observation deck, curtain opening observation deck doors. Ooh, I'm getting a nice playthrough. I hope you guys are too. And that gradual panoramic open, opening. Yeah, a couple of them stuck, but a few of them stuck, but they are not, they didn't actually open. It just there's logic. Yeah, once it hits the end, it should it should hit everything with one last open pulse, just in case. And that's that's it so far. I'm I'm still kind of working it out. There's some crew chambers and some other small details around, but that's that's the bulk of the logic fun stuff is the hangers and the and the sky and the exterior blinking lights. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love the use of lighting and color. Yeah, now I have so many new light. blocks, man. They just cracked cracked some interior stuff wide open and, and logic and lighting is just doing so much because you can completely recast space one way or the other just by changing the lighting that's in it. Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. And at will. You're not just limited to having one layout. Exactly, yeah. You can send, you know, relight an entire ship in the press of a button. I just think that that's the bee's knees. And don't forget Your ring is hollow. Oh yeah, the outside ring at the moment, that, that's where I keep the overdrive system. Um, you know, a lot of people did those great builds that were inspired by that uh, NXS Enterprise design that, that hit the internet. And we had some cool replicas of those, so I decided, you know, the ring should be where the, where the overdrive system goes. Yeah. Held, so those are, that's literally just one big ring of overdrive system. I may fill it up with other stuff later. Um, I'm kind of keeping this thing open-ended because I'm hoping for sensor blocks or other kind of scientific stuff, but there's no there's no real combat utility for the, sh for the ship at all. It, it would Thank never serve God. anything. <laughs> it know, looks beautiful. It does though. cargo, it does some other stuff. Um, it does blinking things. Yeah, and it, it has does the, wedges. It has that fun logic aesthetic. It does spheres. It does rings. Uh, it, does it does wedges. Wingy it does wingy bits. Yeah, it does pods. It does logical hangers. It does sweet shuttles and orange detail. It does flashy bits. Oh, orange hull. I mean, that was that was really like the reason I started the ship was just to have an ode to all of the new fantastic blocks that oh. got. Orange hull. And it has a you crane. Know, the hazard stripes, the, the wedges and the meshes. So I just wanted to make my dream, you know, near future NASA ship. Use the crane on Cambot. Oh yeah. Oh So I haven't yeah. I haven't done the logic in, in the arm yet. I was gonna see exactly what I could kind of cheese by having an arm that I could sort of pincer things with. Maybe grab hold of ships and tow them that way. What the um, He undocked it by accident maybe. No no, I'm I'm flying it. Oh, okay. But you know, I wanted to kind of if I could grab the cambot here, that would be awesome. Bye. You're using your. So, I don't know. Maybe Ooh. maybe I should make just like a, a hollow sphere that I could fly forward and then close around Cambot. But I think your way, what you've done there, looks better. Do you have a uh, pull in it as well? Uh, there is a pull beam. Uh, one of the other t sort of toys. I'll to go ahead and turn it on here. Is in the back of the ship. Uh, at the very end, there's there's just a clock that on a half second pulse fires a pull laser. I had the idea to kind of try to build a tow truck ship yeah um, that would pull the ship behind it but keeping everything aligned becomes a difficulty and there it is it's there it does no damage so anybody can stand right in front of it and it'll yank you in um, and on a on an, another fairly large ship it actually does a pretty oh my good job dude did the core uh, did it suck you all the way dude in? it Hang on, I need to take a ride on that. Oh! Wait, wait, hang on. You, he, his core just got sucked. No, no, don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Okay. Can, yeah, be, be strong. Can, can you, can you level the ship? I gotta go do that again. 
it's pretty strong. I mean, for it's it's basically what's in that orange bulge at the at the back of the ship. That whole thing is nothing but. Like, How come you're not straight? Your ship's not straight. God mode, no, Tom. False. Oh! <laughs> How am I? Whoa! I just flew through the front of your ship and off into space, dude. I'm now 1,500 meters away. That's better than the push yeah, it's gates. My mass re maybe, maybe I it's a mass relay. Of <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't realize that if you glitch through it, you actually end up. Oh, uh, I don't know. It. Does it We're work? It. I'll make it pretty. You make it logical. The point is, we will be able to work something fun out. It will be good. Oh so my! Stay tuned for that. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh. Okay, so. <laughs> What's going on? I feel really weird watching you guys get sucked up into my butt. I'm not sure what <laughs> happened. I think I think I broke it. Let's well, see how far away I can do this from. Oh no, you're into not about light. to. Into the light. Into the light. Oh, oh no! My how Lord. did I pop out? I pooped out the other side somehow. This is like watching Schrodinger's mushroom bleed. Just a new hey, new propulsion method. Pull puller impactor. <laughs> ESS. Whoa. ESS Elamina. 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 ESS Elamina by plus nine. Currently disappearing into the distance. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time.